So those findings are extremely important in terms of uh, a descriptive picture of how the poor use ICTs and why they use them. But one of the key issues is trying to understand if, if there's a relationship between ICT usage or mostly mobile usage and poverty or poverty reduction. And so that gets into the complex issue of causality. Is there a relationship there? We know generally through a lot of studies that there is a positive relationship, but it's never clear, especially uh, amongst studies that, that look at the poor, it's never clear whether it's the fact that they get richer that leads them to owning more mobiles or if it's the other way around. So to try to, to better understand that, uh, partners in, in East Africa, uh, which was, uh, developed a research project led by the University of KwaZulu-Natal um, that looked at, called Picture, and it actually tried to do what's called a panel study, which is essentially looking at household data at two points in time and trying to understand, trying to control for a whole bunch of other factors that might help better establish whether ICT ownership and usage is actually related to, uh, to poverty reduction or, or income growth amongst the poor. In Tanzania, there was an experimental design that um, was looking at two villages. One village where they did not receive any ICTs and a second village where they received five months of mobile phone uh, airtime and access to internet. And what they were able to find was that the group that received the mobile and internet provisions had a greater reduction in poverty than the control group that did not receive the access to ICTs. They also looked at a multi-dimensions of poverty and they looked at seven dimensions and what they found was the group that received the ICTs found you know, five out of the seven poverty dimensions addressed, whereas the, control, the group that did not receive the um, intervention saw only two dimensions out of the seven of change in, in poverty. And what it found is that there is a, a, a small but still positive relationship between um, the technology and, and uh, poverty reduction. Um, and that it would seem, even more interestingly, that that role of, of mobiles is especially important for the poorest of the poor. That they actually get more benefit from it than the less poor. And that's, that's hugely interesting because up until now, the assumption had been that actually technology is likely leading to greater inequalities. It was clearly understood that it led to the, the, the investments in technology led to growth. There seemed to be some established consensus around that. But there was a lot of literature that essentially said that um, there was possibly, at least in the short term, possibly medium term, some relationship to greater inequality. And that, that seems fairly um, commonsensical because the assumption is that richer people can take advantage of the technology and therefore get more benefit out of it than the poor. So what Picture did is really question that. It really kind of uh, put a wrench in that theory because it, it helps to show that it's actually the poorest of the poor that seem to be getting more proportional benefit than the less poor. A lesson to be learned uh, from the research is that investments in ICT infrastructure still must remain as a issue um, to be addressed in the sphere of poverty, that if we're going to tackle uh, the issue of poverty and see the eradication of poverty, that ICTs is definitely a part of that strategy.